Let's talk about Granby rolls or all these different things we call Granby rolls in jiu-jitsu that involve rolling on your shoulders. Uh, it's probably not truly a Granby roll, what most people are talking about if you're talking about a wrestling move, but whatever. We're talking about usually things where a person has to go on their shoulder and then roll to another shoulder. Maybe that's something from guard where you're here and then you turn on your side and you go up on your shoulders and then just roll to here. Sometimes uh, it's from under side control, sometimes it's when you're defending guard. And if you're having trouble with this, you just gotta get comfortable being on your shoulders not, and feeling like you're not gonna break your neck and also knowing what to do with your, your torso, your hips and your legs. And I'd say start with this. It's just to get comfortable being in that upside down position. It's just a forward roll. So you can say, stick your hand between your legs when you're kneeling, go to your shoulder and just roll over. And then to go back, bring your legs up and over. This isn't a Granby roll, but this will get you comfortable on your neck. Well, upside down, but not really on your neck. So that you feel like if you're gonna be stuck here, you can always just bail and not feel like you're getting jammed up. And this will get you comfortable having most of your body up and over your face when you're upside down. So just rolling back and forth there will get you comfortable with that. Next, what can help is this one where you are sitting and then often people are gonna teach it like this. You hug your legs, you start falling to your side, but rather than falling and looking at the floor, you need to turn and look at the sky. And then you'll go from side to side here. You know, in a warm up, you probably go down in the room. But the trick of this will be using your feet and your elbow to keep you rolling. Because if you just fall here, you get kind of stalled out. So your foot can help you lift your butt. And then as you go, you can push the elbow into the ground to keep rolling. I'll just go back and forth so my cameraman doesn't have to run around the room. But you can keep going down the room in one direction. So this is all these different things where you're getting comfortable folding up and then turning over. And part of it will be if you can get the line that you've traveled across to be more from shoulder to shoulder, lower than your neck, where people get screwed up. I don't want to do it too hard because it'll hurt my neck. Is they go here and then they're on their face and they get jammed or they do kind of get inverted, but it's mostly right here and I can feel my head on the floor versus being here where the weight is a little bit more towards my shoulder line here. And then you can just get comfortable being upside down like this and then rolling out. But it's just a weight shift. If you have um, a hard time with that control of being upside down like this and you just get really stuck on your neck here, that's gonna be when it hurts. So having the core strength and the control to be here and be comfortable not breaking your neck, where you can roll from shoulder and then the line passes kind of under your neck to your other shoulder. If you don't have good flexion in your spine, if you don't know where to put your hips and your legs, at first if you're really stiff, you'll jam up on your neck and it won't feel good. So work on your flexibility too, but the drills themselves can help with that. Hope that helps.